Hello and welcome to FarmCloud Device Manager's Update, Backup and Collecting Troubleshoots Learning Module. This video is part of the mini-series called Cisco FarmCloud Device Manager. If you haven't already, please at least take a look at the introduction video to get an overview of what is FarmCloud Device Manager. It is a new web-based simplified device manager to manage Cisco's integrated next generation firewall or what we call the Firepower Threat Defense Software offering. In this session, we will look at how to update your system, perform backups and restores, and collect troubleshoots for TAC. Firepower Threat Defense uses the following databases to provide advanced threat security. Intrusion rules is one of them. As new vulnerabilities become known, the Cisco Talos Security Intelligence and Research Group releases intrusion rule updates that you can then import into your system. These updates affect intrusion rules, preprocessor rules, and the policies that use those rules. GeoDB or Geolocation Database. This is a database of geographical data and connection-related data associated with routable IP addresses on the internet. GeoDB updates provide updated information on physical locations, connection types, and so on what your system can associate with detected routable IP addresses. You can then use access policies using geolocation. Vulnerability Database this is a database of known vulnerabilities to which hosts may be susceptible, as well as fingerprints for operating systems, clients, and applications. The Firepower system correlates the fingerprints with the vulnerabilities to help you determine whether a particular host in your network increases your risk of network compromise. You can manually retrieve and apply system database updates at your convenience. Updates are retrieved from the Cisco support site. Thus, there must be a path to the internet from the system's management address. You can also set up a regular schedule to retrieve and apply database updates. Because these updates can be large, schedule them for times for low network activity. You also have something called URL updates which is used for URL filtering. The system uses Cisco Collective Security Intelligence or CSI for reputation, risk and threat intelligence information. If you have the licenses required for URL filtering and advanced malware protection for Firepower, the system automatically enables those features and enables communication for retrieving the required information from Cisco CSI. However, you can configure some options to control these communications. Let's now take a look at how you can perform backups and restore from Firepower Device Manager. You can backup the system configuration so that you can restore the device if the configuration becomes corrupted due to subsequent misconfigurations or physical mishap. Backups include the configuration only and not the system software. If you need to completely re-image the device, you need to reinstall the software and then you can upload a backup and recover your configuration. The configuration database is locked up during backup. You cannot make changes to configuration during a backup when it's in progress. Although, you can view policies, dashboards, and so forth. During a restore, the system is completely unavailable. And you will see this during our demo. You have the following options when backing up your configs. You can back up your system configs immediately whenever you want, or at a scheduled time, at a specific future date. This is a one-time occurrence though. You can also set up a recurring backup schedule, which really helps ensure that you always have a set of recent backups. As 
As you create new backups, the backup files are listed on the Backup and Restore page. The backup copies are not retained indefinitely. It depends on your disk storage. The moment it reaches a maximum threshold, the older backup copies are deleted to make room for the newer ones. Thus, you should regularly manage the backup files to ensure that you have the specific backup copies you want the most. You can do the following to manage your backup copies. You can download the files to a secure storage. You can upload a backup file to the system. You can restore a backup or you can delete a backup file. Remember, when you decide to restore, the system is, will be unavailable. And lastly, if you ever hit into an issue that needs technical assistance, you can call Cisco TAC. The TAC personals might ask you to submit a troubleshoot with system log information when you submit a problem report. We're also going to walk through how to collect the troubleshoot in the demo. With that, let's actually jump into the demo. In this demo, we will see where and how to update the system for geolocation, intrusion rule, and vulnerability databases. We'll also schedule our system backup and explore the task list which shows what's the status of the activity. We will then restore a, to a previous known good config and create a troubleshoot file. And I'll show you how you can download this troubleshoot file and send it to Cisco TAC. So here is our Firepower Device Manager. You can go to Updates, Backup, or Troubleshoot right from this page. Let's go to the Updates, and here is where you can do an update for your geolocation rule or vulnerability database. Let's click on the Update Now button to update it in current time. Remember, you can even set a recurring update for each of these. From here, we can take a look at the task list as it says is the update is scheduled. And notice in the task list, it says uh, one of them has started and the remaining is queued. You can even visit the task list uh, from the main tab here and remove any completed task as well as look at what's currently queued or running. In phase one of Firepower Device Manager, we do not support the system upgrade right from the screen. However, here are the instructions to look at when you're ready to do a system upgrade. Let's go back to our device dashboard page while this is scheduled and running for updates and look at our backup and restore options. For backup and restore, notice you can configure a recurring backup at a frequency that you specify here. This can be daily, weekly, or monthly. You can even do a scheduled backup. And the way this is different is this is at a particular date and time that you mention here. This is a one-time backup. And then we have a manual backup, which you can do right now. So you can give it a name and say backup now. And notice you can even go to the scheduler from here if you want to change your mind and schedule it at a later time in the day. Let's go ahead and do a backup now. Take a look at the task list if you wish. And notice that the backup is also queued along with all the other updates. And notice that the geolocation has completed successfully. Here is one of the backups I performed earlier today. And notice that you can restore a backup, download a backup, or remove it from here. Remember to manage the backups on the disk because once the disk is full, it will start deleting the older ones. 
So you want to manage your disk space well and keep the most relevant updates on the disk. Otherwise, I recommend you download the updates and save it somewhere else. You can upload a backup whenever you need to restore that particular backup that was downloaded. Let's also go back to our device dashboard space and request a troubleshoot to be generated from there. Notice the task list says the troubleshoot is also scheduled for execution. Here, our previous download has completed, so let's go back and see how the upload and restore would work. Let me go ahead and upload this file that we just downloaded onto our desk. Notice it says uploading and then uploaded in green. You're on the upload screen. You can close this to go back to the browse file chart. Let's now wait for all these tasks to be completed. And here we go. All the tasks have been completed successfully. And it specifies the time, the date when the task was completed. Notice the time here as well, and we can download the troubleshoot that we just generated and provide it to the Cisco Tax Services. Notice also our uploaded file, configuration file that you want to restore has been uploaded to the system desk. Let's quickly go back and test for a restore. So for the purpose of testing, I'm going to quickly create an access rule, which is new. Just something like rule test for a quick test. Let's go ahead and deploy this quickly. And the reason I'm doing that is so that when we restore to a previously known good config, we want to notice that the rule test did not exist when we um, downloaded or when we saved our previous good known config. Once the deployment is successful, let's go back to our backup and restore and backup a previously known good config. And notice a restore will trigger a reset of the device and then the backup will be deleted after the restore. You can also pick to not remove the backup after restoring. Let's hit OK and wait for the system to reset. The system will automatically reset and the service will be unavailable for some time. You might have to refresh and log in again. And once you've logged in, let's quickly do a sanity check. Let's no, go back to our policies. And notice that the rule test, which we created for the purpose of this testing, is no longer available. And in the task list, you will see that you have a bunch of user triggered deployments, which is the admin deployments immediately following the restore process or operation. And it says that user triggered restore completed, and you have all these triggered deployments which were done on the box. And that's what we have today for our updates, backup restore, and troubleshoot via Firepower Device Manager. Thank you for joining me today in this session for updates, backup, restore, and collecting troubleshoots for TAC for Firepower Device Manager. Don't forget to take a look at all the other modules to learn more about Firepower Device Manager. Thank you again.